What is up guys, gals, and non-binary pals? Today we're gonna be taking a look at the Genshin Impact Genius Invocation leaks. We got gameplay leaked and we have like full art and animation, I guess idle animations for the cards. They look really good. Before we do, I wanna ask you guys to subscribe really quickly. People are getting DMC'd a lot for these leaks, so I'm putting myself at risk, so I'd appreciate your support. When the game comes out, we're gonna be playing it every day on this channel and on my Twitch, so sure to check it out. All right, so you get to challenge somebody. It looks like you have I think it's 30 cards and then three like character cards. I right. see here, you know, we have three each. It's actually really interesting that you see them at the start of the game. It gives your opponent more information, I guess, like what they're playing against. That's really cool. It's actually really good to know. Okay, so at the start of the game, you draw five cards. You get to choose which ones you want to keep. This is card called the Mulligan Phase in any other card game. If you play Magic, Hearthstone. So yeah, you just have to pick which cards you want. You know, usually you look for something that'll actively benefit you in the early game or let you get to your game plan. So, oh, they end up only tossing back one. They keep four cards. It's good to know that you get to do that. A lot of card games recently, such as like Marvel Snap, haven't actually had these methods. So both players at the start pick a card. Okay, and then you roll for your die. I'm not really sure what the picking does. I guess it's like your active card. You roll for eight die. You get to get elements. The elements let you use cards. You get to pick which ones you want to keep and you re-roll once. Which is good to know. It's nice that you have a chance to not get screwed over by the RNG. You need to get like certain elements to play certain cards. So I imagine like official attack is probably like the lightning element. If you have Venti, I don't know if Venti's in the game, but it'd be a Nemo, etc. So you start off by picking the cards you want to play, what attacks you want to make. Every character has three attacks that you can see in the bottom right over here. Oh, there's my mouse. Every character has three attacks. It's their like auto attack, their burst, and their elemental skill. The game looks really good. I kind of wish the music was like a bit more creative, I guess. I feel like it's just like recycled, which it's fine, I guess. But I was hoping for more of like a like taverny, like vibe type of music. It still looks good. It's nice to see there's like an area on the side here for the summons. You can play like aura effects and stuff, like field effects. So it's nice to know there's like an actual like board space for it. And it's not just like awkwardly attached to a card, which is kind of what I worried it, was worried it would look like. So stick around to the end of the video to see this. There was leaks of the idle animation. So I think you can like spend currency that you get from playing to upgrade your card. So if you look at like Kaya here, like how it's like moving and stuff, every card or like every character card has something like this. My only real concern so far from watching the gameplay is that with every character having 10 health, it feels like it's gonna take a very long time to finish games. Like we did like what, it was like one damage to Kaya, Fischl took three damage. It feels like games are gonna be very long, which personally as a card game player, I don't mind it. But a lot of people are gonna be new to the genre and they're gonna want games to be five, 10 minutes. If they're taking like 15, 20 minutes per game, Especially if your opponent takes a long time to think about their turns. It's gonna get tiring for some people for sure. You reroll your die every in between every turn. From what I understand, there's like four action phases essentially. So it's like the attack like the start, die roll, attack, or like play cards and attack phase. Or I guess you can say end phase too. But you roll at the start of each turn and then you pass actions back and forth. So it's like I play a card, you play a card, I play a card, you play a card, I attack, you attack. Then whoever decides they're done their turn first, so if I pass they gain initiative and start the next turn first. So whoever ends first starts first, which I think Legends of Runeterra does that. And it honestly feels kind of nice because it adds like a different level of like complexity to it, where you have to like mind game your opponent and being like, I want to end my turn first. I've competed in card games for years at this point, and I'm so excited to play the Genshin one. I know there's no ranking system. There is a matchmaking system. So there probably will be some form of MMR, but with any game that has like a matchmaking system will have people be competitive. There will still be the casual players and if you just want to play do your you know, commissions if you have any or like weekly challenges, I'm sure that'll be a thing. But personally, I'm hoping that there's like a bit of a seriousness to it. I'm hoping, you know, I can run some like for fun tournaments with friends, with my Twitch stream and stuff like that. So I'm hoping there's like some level of complexity to it. And it seems like there is. It seems like there's a lot to do. I will say some of the cards seem very basic. I haven't looked through them all, but a lot of them seem very much just like heal to draw a card plus one attack, like it's very basic stuff, which is like not awful, but I was really hoping that there'd be some level of complexity, you know, making like combos with cards and like a bunch of different crazy interactions. And maybe there will be. Honestly, my takeaway from watching this is that it looks really clean. It looks fluid. It looks like there's some level of depth, at least at like the attacking order. It kind of reminds me of Hearthstone Mercenaries, which wasn't my favorite, but again, that's just based purely on looks. There seems to be more complexity than that. I think the like passing back and forth thing is really interesting. And it's hard for me to have an accurate assessment until I know what the cards do. But as we figure them out, and I think there are leaks about them, I just haven't read through them because like they could be incorrect, they could get changed. I think it's gonna be very interesting to see where everything goes. I'm not sure we'll be able to see it from the dice roll, but the die have like each element. So it's like cryo, water, hydro, and emo, et cetera. But there's also like a multi-die that can be any element, which I'm assuming is this one. And that's really cool because it means that you can get really lucky, roll a bunch of them, do whatever you want. So it might be like a little bit annoying, but it also might just be a bit more balanced. So I'm hoping that it turns out in the best way possible. Now that we took a look at the gameplay of Genius Invocation, the Genshin Impact TCG, 
I want to take a look at the idle animations. So these also got leaked. It's a compilation of all the cards animations. So essentially you can upgrade them for a certain amount of currency, as I mentioned before. And then when the card is sitting on the board, you know, it's face up on the board, it'll have an animation. So, you know, the character will do a little jig or, you know, do some crazy shit. So I want to take a look at them quickly. Um, I'm going to mute because they have some like weird EDM playing and I'm probably going to get DMCA'd for it. But Barb is dancing. Oh, Kale is so... Okay, Pokemon Ranger Kale. Wait, that one's actually so good. I hope Kale is playable just for this idle animation. Okay, Kai is pretty cool too. It's like actually just badass. Okay. This one's a little basic. I feel like the background's kind of bland. I say that in Xiangling actually just has like a green yellow background. Amber's just kind of chilling, just having a good time. The bird's flying around. Okay. My queen. Oh, Ben is just hanging out. I feel like some of them got like a lot more effort put into them than others. Maybe not effort, but like, they, like some of them look a lot more flashy, right? Like some of them, it's just like they're actually just standing there. But then some have like full like dance moves. Like Holly's was like so over the top, right? Maybe we're, these just aren't like the full versions of them. Yeah, like it feels like some of them are just like actually standing there and then some of them have full animations. My guess is maybe some of these cards aren't upgraded fully. Maybe you upgrade them so it's like basic idle animation and then like full animation. So yeah, I'm guessing that like most of them probably have full animations. Maybe they're just not on the test realm yet. I, for one, am very excited for the Genshin Impact card game, Genius Indication. Everything looks so gorgeous. It looks so fun. If you guys are looking forward to the card game as well, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos several times a week, including shorts every day. I'll be playing this card game a lot. It's going to be my main focus on Genshin. So if you want to improve with a professional card game player, stick around. I promise it'll be worth it. Thanks for watching, everybody.